Hello everyone, Scott and I are back. We are going to continue on with Hurricane Helene aftermath and advice. Scott, I think we were going to focus this video on uh, scams and pertaining to insurance and unfortunately targeting homeowners after the math, aftermath. Yeah, yeah, great. Thanks, Kate. So we are already getting calls, people needing to access their 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 accounts, their funds to pay for storm related uh, damage cleanup or repair. I, I think maybe the one that's obvious, well, the obvious most popular one is tree removal. And so again, we're learning more each day. We learned a lot during the ice storm, but you know, our understanding is that your, your insurance should cover anything on a home, anything on a permanent structure like a fence. One thing that we learned, I think yesterday was that it will also, we think also cover a tree removal from a driveway because that's your emergency exit point. But that still leaves people with a lot of trees down in the yard that leaves people with trees obviously still on the house waiting for those trees to be removed people coming around quoting prices some of these prices are just unbelievable and i think or disappearing you know, it, before they do any work well i i really heard that yet but you know the, the best scenario is you get a lot obviously a licensed uh insured bonded uh, contractor they are approved with your insurance company they come in they quote you again a big number but you don't write a check they handle that entire process for you 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 write no check to this person i think the higher the percentage they want from you in terms of a check as as payment the more concerned i would i would be uh, obviously, I would contact my insurance company before I did anything, document, 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 uh, photos, making sure that your insurance company is going to approve that contractor. But just be aware of people just coming around, uh, not wanting to prove that they are licensed and bonded, um, wanting a check. Those are all red flags. Not saying that it won't work out, but those should be red flags. People coming in getting your, your insurance information, doing all of the work, you not having to write a check, to me is, is, the, uh, is the best best sign, best situation. But there are definitely people out there quoting unbelievable sums to remove trees. You know, we've got a quote to remove a tree here at the office. Based on what I'm hearing, the quotes to do trees now four to five times what we've been quoted from a, pro pro a professional tree service to come in and remove this tree at the office. So it's disappointing, but it's out there and we just want everybody to protect themselves and uh, just make sure that nobody gets scammed. Absolutely. And then I, did we want to touch on FEMA? Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, so FEMA. So again, if somebody comes around and purporting to be a, a FEMA employee or a FEMA agent, uh, you you don't have to pay anything to FEMA. Uh, they also carry uh, badges, photo IDs. So, you know, uh, ask for proof of identification. Uh, the FEMA person will will never charge you a fee or ask for an application fee. Uh, the FEMA disaster fraud hotline. I'll give you the number, 866-720-5721. But I know that FEMA is now coming into the Augusta area. They will be prevalent and, and all over the place. So just be careful about that one. Uh, somebody, you know, uh, putting themselves out there as a FEMA employee and wanting you to uh, uh, fill out an application and pay a fee. That's a that's a no-no. Yeah, absolutely. And then logging online and, and submitting this, as Scott said, um, along with any damage, submitting that, um, filing that online. Um, I think those are the, the major unfortunate, but they're, ha they're happening. Um, yeah. And as, scamming. as we have conversations with clients, again, insurance tips, um, uh, other stories, we'll, we'll certainly get those out to everybody so that everybody can protect uh, themselves and their family against fraud, price gouging, and the and the like. Yes, but at, to Scott's point, document everything um, 
and and be smart before you just sign into something. Yep, absolutely. All right. Well, we hope everybody continues to stay safe. Um, and we are going to sign off on that note. Thanks.